Hey everybody, welcome to today's video. It is a continuation of some Instagram stories that I was actually doing the other day on some new products that I got from Tarte. And specifically, I wanted to test out the liquid eyeshadow because the reason that I got these liquid eyeshadows was to save time in the morning it is the morning, I'm in a rush, I gotta get out of here, I have a really busy day ahead of me, so I'm gonna just talk you guys through this, like try to get ready as fast as I can, and see how long it takes. So if you wanna see if this saves me some time, let's keep going, let's just get to it. Now, I already prepped my face with this first prep skin, Double Beauty First Step Prep, Moisturizer, um, my skin is very dry right now because it's winter. And I also added some moisturizer on top of that, the Pacifica Day and Night Face Cream Dream Youth. So my face is prepped. Now we gotta do my eyes. So I'm gonna use primer on my eyes just like I normally would. Let's throw some primer on there. All right. Do the other eye. Get it nice and primed up. Now, I don't know what color I wanna use, but like I said, I'm in a hurry. I want this day to be quick and easy. And so I think I'm gonna go with the lightest color. So we have a dark like gray color, this pinky color, this color is like a copper. And I'm gonna go with this champagne color. It's called Sweet Life. So let's throw this on and see if this is going to save me some time. All right, so usually with liquid ones, you put it on with the applicator and then kind of dab it in with your finger. Oh, this is pretty. I'm gonna smooth it out. All right, so it's really, really shimmery. Really, really shimmery. All right, let's do the other side. Now, you might notice I went up a little bit above the crease line. I didn't go all the way to the brow bone, but All right, so that's what this eyeshadow looks like. It is kind of sheer, sheerer than I expected it to be. So I'm gonna go back in, do a little bit more, kind of thicken it up a little bit in this area. And let's do the other side. So, you know, this, uh, the question here was, how does this compare to the Stila um, liquid eyeshadows? And I can tell you right now, it is, this has way more loose glitter. It's not as much of an eyeshadow so much as this seems more like glitter than anything. Because this is not the same type of coverage. This is basically just a ton of shiny glitter, which there's nothing wrong with shiny glitter, but this is the middle, like I'm, this is just a work day. <laughs> um, all right. So not sure that I love this. It's not as thick as I expected it to be. It's a lot more glitter. Let's keep going though. I'm going to add a little bit of eyeshadow, regular eyeshadow to my brow bone, just as usual. I'm gonna use this Pacifica Pink Nudes palette. I just like to use the lightest color over here on my brow bone. So let's throw that up there. Give it a little bit of a finish. I'll kind of come to here so this doesn't come up too much. It is pretty. I'm not going to say it's not 
pretty. I just don't, it wasn't exactly what I expected it to be. I expected it to be more like the Stila one. All right. Now, I'm also a little concerned about the stickiness of this throughout the day. I don't know how that's going to go. I don't know if I should put like finishing powder over it or what, but I guess I'll just leave it. I'm not going to do eyeliner today because I, like I said, I'm in a really big hurry. So let's keep going. What I usually do is I grab a Q-tip, I grab some lotion, and I just clean this up underneath my eyes. So let's clean this up. Oh, wow. Not going to happen. It is glitter, so this is going to take forever. I'm going to have to pull out a wipe. So this has already not saved me time. Uh, uh, all right, so I took out a, I like these Trader Joe's ones, the micellar cleanser. So let's swipe that glitter off. Okay, it's off. I'm gonna take this moisturizer that was left on here and just reapply to where I just had brought. Okay, gonna use this primer, Double Beauty Beauty Base Tape Primer. Uh, I've actually really liked this. This was from my new order as well. I love the feeling, hate the smell. I, I'm about to go to the beach right now, just so you guys know, this smells like sunscreen. It doesn't smell like flowers or anything exciting. <laughs> But like I said, if you like the smell of coconut, if you like the smell of sunscreen, then I just knocked my shape tape over. Then you will actually probably like the smell of this. Okay, primer is on. Hold on a second. All right, got the shape tape. I got a special edition one. It has a like, adorable little flamingo on the end, which can come off and I probably will take it off because it's a little annoying to have on there, but I thought it was so cute. I'm from Florida and Mike and I did a little flamingo thing for our engagement pictures, even though we did our engagement shoot in Central Park in Manhattan. We had these little flamingos uh, that we showed on our engagement pictures since we were getting married in Florida, so. <laughs> Let's get concealed here, get some shape tape. Now this set also came with a tiny little like beauty blender thing, but it, honestly, it kind of sucks. It doesn't work that great. I was hoping that it would be, but the angle of it is actually, it really needs to have more of a point so that you can get into here. It's just flat. So it does help you to get kind of the flat line around it, but it can't get into the corner. So I, just go back to my original beauty blender for that. So let's pull this down a little bit. My skin is in a weird place because like I said, it's winter here. I'm about to head to Florida to get some color. So it's really gonna be fun to color match over the next week as it's changing. Okay, so we're pretty blended in here. Just like I said, pull it down. I like to pull it down. It's a little bit yellow for me, which, but it's fine because my foundation, when it goes over it, it'll be fine. And I don't know if you guys noticed, my eyebrows are looking better. I've been working on growing them in so that I don't have to uh, do them all the time. So that's a positive. All right, Bare Minerals is next. Tapping a little bit into the lid here. I have their flat brush and I also am gonna use this tiny baby bookie to just get everything seamless. I, this is probably my favorite brush ever. It looks big cause I'm holding it like this, but it's a teeny, tiny little brush and it's very dense. So it really, it just smooths everything. It makes the foundation really get into the pores and 
helps it to be really super smooth. Okay. Get some foundation on here. We're 10 minutes in. How are you guys feeling about this eyeshadow? Throw me a comment. Let me know what you think about this liquid eyeshadow and if you like it, if you think it looks nice or if it's probably not worth the time. I don't know. Whatever you, whatever you, I want to know what you think. Not just what I think. Okay, so I just take a concealer brush to really get close and go over that concealer and make sure that everything is seamless. I also like to do the concealer brush, use it around the brow so that it really gets a tight, close line. All right, now it's time for our little baby brush. Gonna get in there around the nose, around my eyes. And then I take it up in between the brows, around, go to really blend it in there. All right. Okay, looking good. Um, I'm gonna pull it down to my neck because as you can see, the color is not exactly the same. Is gonna fall off. <laughs> Let's get my hair out of the way. Oh man, got a little hair I gotta pluck. All right, okay, so we've got the foundation all over. Gotta move on, it's really, it's time to go. But I don't want to uh, shortchange anything. So bronzer, this is the Bare Minerals Invisible Bronze. I absolutely love this stuff because it's like a very neutral, it's not orangey or bright or anything in that area and you can really build it up. So we'll do a little bit of this. I like to do it before the finishing powder cause then it really gets set with the makeup. And plus if I screw up and like kind of over apply a little bit, I actually, or, or create streaks or anything like that, I can actually just go on with this brush and really blend it back in. It really gets blended in very nicely. Let's throw a little bit more. It's got some blush on here. Bare Minerals color is Fruit Cocktail. I, this is my favorite one. It's so bright, but it uh, it's one of those colors you just, a little bit goes a long way and it stays on for a very long, very long time. The thing with blush that a lot of people don't think about is the fact that it wears off over the day. It, just like any of your makeup is going to decompose over the day. Blush is one of them. That's why I tend to go very heavy in the morning because I know that throughout the day it's going to rub off. You know, you answering the phone or touching your face or even if you don't touch your face, it can still come off. <laughs> And the other reason I like to do the finishing powder last is because I do my blush very heavy, it tones it down a little bit. So this is Bare Minerals uh, Mineral Veil. It's a deluxe version. It's huge from the holidays. They have great deals around holidays with bigger versions, which I appreciate. I like to buy in bulk, <laughs> even with my makeup. 
So I just tap it into the lid, use the, this brush is a Bare Minerals brush. I don't even know what it's called, but it's a synthetic brush that is perfect for applying mineral veil. In fact, it might've been in a set, like a uh, another one of these holiday sets one year. That's probably where, actually, you know what? It did come from a set. I remember now some of the other things that were in it. All right. I'm also gonna take my concealer brush and take a little bit of this mineral veil, a little more than I, and do it just underneath the eyes to really extra secure that concealer to prevent it from cracking and moving around. Okay, all right. Highlighter. This is the Laura Geller highlighter I've been using in basically every video because it is my all time favorite right now. I have a ton to try. I need to try more, but I uh, so hooked on this one. I can't get away from it. So it's a beautiful, gorgeous color. I'm sure you've seen me hold it close in some of these other videos. So we're just going to apply right at the top of the cheekbone. I don't know why my voice is so high this morning. And then I like to do it on the tip of my nose. You know, some people hate this, but it's a personal preference. It is definitely, you know, if you like it or you either like it or you don't, and that's fine. We all do different things with our makeup and like different things, and that's okay. Be you, be unique. You don't have to be like everybody else. Just do what you love. Uh, now, that's it. This is the whole entire makeup, face of makeup. It took me 17 minutes. That's a lot longer than I thought it would take me, especially since I didn't do eyeliner. Um, I'm going to add mascara. Just wipe the extra foundation off my lips. And usually what I'll do is just brush my eyebrows since I'm trying to grow them out as you just heard. And they're doing it splendidly. I have to say I'm a proud mom of brows. <laughs> Pacifica. I just turned it so it's on the small side. And I'm just going to get in there and a small brush helps you to get volume. And by small brush, I mean that this brush is retractable. It extends out. So right now it's at its smallest. And if you turn this, it gets larger. It's really cool. So then I go large, do another dip in the pool, and then go back in for the length. See the difference between the two? All right, let's get the other one in there. Maybe I can get this done. Quick. Okay, first side. Let's do the long. I'm pretty sure I just swiped that right on my eyelid at the last minute. That's always how it goes, right? I did. All right. Okay, so that's it. This is a 20 minute face. I could totally do this in 10 minutes. I don't know. It's, I'm ashamed of myself right now. I'm going to throw on this other brand new um, Tarte product that I got. This is their lip balm in Rose. It's a tinted lip balm and it's minty smelling. So let's just throw that on. Since this is a very light makeup day, I don't really need to be... Oh. I don't need to be going crazy with lipstick. Wow, this is pretty actually... 
very natural. It just basically is like a gloss for your natural lip color. So that's cool. All right, guys. Well, this is it. This is the uh, qu quick face using Tarte's liquid eye shadow. Let me know again what you think about this. Uh, this is a pretty quick routine for me. However, like I said, I think that I could do it faster next time. I've got to go blow dry my hair real quick and get out of here. So I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye guys.